Cold? Yes. Going steam and engine again? Yeah. G'day everyone. This is a homemade steam engine that my grandson Jimmy and I did. Uh, it's school holidays down here in Australia. Summer school holidays. We made this out of uh, a copper plumber's end cap, some copper pipe, uh, a split bit of copper here. This uh, solid fuel burner for uh, hand sanitizer uh, and a mix of metho. Works really well. Drilled some holes at the back for air. It's a uh, old Maymed uh, piston and flywheel contraption that we've had for ages. Didn't know what we were going to do with it. Made the uh, inlet and exhaust block there and soldered that on. This is all silver brazed. You can see the plumbing mark on there. There for the exhaust, we came across here. Put a little hook on there. Little made a little copper bucket. Uh, it's on a steel base. There's a gap under there so the heat doesn't transfer through to the wood. Uh, it's a get a, a bushing and tap that. It's a, a Jensen safety valve. Uh, made a overflow plug on the lathe. And uh, these are my two grandchildren, Jimmy and Ruby. Hi. And I've got a third one that's not here at the moment. He's only a little baby still. So, okay, Jimmy, let's get this on the boil. Yeah. Put some water in. Take the, those plugs out and put water in your engine. Yeah, I'll put the water in first. Was this fun building this? Yeah. Learn a lot? Yep. Fun in the shed with grandfather? Yep. Alright. You've been having a fun school holiday, Ruby? Yeah. Jimmy and Ruby live probably about two minutes walk away from our house, so they're over here every day. Jimmy's been using the uh, my steam engine collection as like a steam library. He's been taking a new engine every couple of days over to his house and he's been putting a lot of hours on them. So he's been really enjoying that. But uh, making this one was something really special. He did most of the work and he's super proud of it. So just take it up till it overflows, remember what we do? Yeah. It's pretty much overflowing. Just start and overflow? Yeah. Good lad. So you can still got that one in. Yeah. It's good having you here. Usually I'm holding the camera in one hand and using my left hand to put those threads in. It's not easy. And burner. Yeah, got the burner. So put the hand sanitizer in. Like using hand sanitizer. It's a really clean burning fuel. What I do do though, after it's filled up, I Give it a really good squirt of metho just to add a little bit more alcohol to the mix. It gets it a bit hotter. So mix it in nice and good. Nice good squirt. Yeah, that's nice. Right, Ruby, will you turn that light off over there and I'll turn this one off? Yep. You can see that nice blue clean flame. Alright, that's burning nice, isn't it? Alright, yep. lights on, Rip. Okay. That shouldn't take long to boil, and we'll come back. Okay, it's come up to the boil. Alright, Jimmy, see if you can flick that flywheel over. Or straight away, first go. Yep. And there we have it. 
homemade red engine. Stop it and see if you can start it again. Just start that easy again. Yep. You happy with that? Yep. Pretty good? Yep. What do you think, Ruby? Uh, I think it's cool. Pretty cool? Yeah. I've got this gas burner as well, this goes straight in, uh, it's a lot hotter, it uh, it really makes it fly, but we found just that um, hand sanitizer with a bit of metho gets it going really well, ok flick that over again Jimmy, get the safety valve starting to get a bit of water coming out, yeah, bucket getting full, yeah, Hold it. Alright, take the burner out and blow it, blow the flame out. And put it back in. See how long it goes for? Yeah. Do you like that bucket? Yeah, it's cool. Still got a bit of heat in there, hasn't it? Yep. Okay, there we have it. The homemade rat engine built out of some plumbing parts and uh, a main mod piston and axle and flywheel. So I hope you enjoyed that. And buy for the three buy from the three of us down here in Australia. Yep. Happy New Year to everyone. So happy new year Ruby. Happy new year. Happy new year. Bye for now.